Your timing is immaculate. Back at the moment of kickoff here at Q2 Stadium with Austin and Colorado meeting for the sixth time in the uh, short history of this rival to set up a late equaliser and deny Austin a win. So that was only back in early October. As Driussi tries to wind his way through midfield territory, great layoff for Gallagher, and John Gallagher is offside, and it's not going to count. Gallagher is in, a, in an offside position, probably by about a yard. So I think it's the good call by the assistant. Rip-roaring form at the start of this new campaign for Austin. Already has two goals and an assist. Does he have another goal? Well, it's going to be determined by a trip. I mean, there's no part of Gallagher that can score a goal that is ahead of the last defender there as that ball leaves the foot. Pretty clear cut, doesn't it? It's a goal. John Gallagher has done it. Delayed celebration, but it won't dim the volume at all. Early breakthrough for the Verde and Black, just what they needed. If that matchup holds. Here is the corner. Oh, and it's still up for grabs, and Stuva keeping it out somehow. Oh, well, Stuva saw it all unfold right in front of him. He was actually in his goal. Just keep the ball the right side of the line. This is a great ball. It goes right towards Abubakar, and I'm not sure. Waited a bit too long, and Brian Acosta took over. Former FC Dallas man, of course. That's great work inside, and the shot is into the side netting. That's the first time we've seen really what Jonathan Lewis can do. Nicholson. Pereira and... Uh, Oh, that was uh, Alex Ring who had to uh, improvise on the ground there. The shot is still on and Stuver able to beat it away. Ring actually did really well because he was slipping. Enough, but Stuver gets his hand on it, pushes it out for the corner. Job not done yet though, and Stuver is forced to react again. Suddenly, Brad Stuver in the eye of the storm here. A Herculean save initially to deny Barrett. Pedda. Oh my, this is the best chance of the game. This is a, a wide open header inside the six. Oh, and from Barrios. Now ring on Barrios has gone around him. Michael Barrios, but it's Stuva to the rescue. He has been needed mightily so by Austin in this second half. Delivers the goods again. Well, MVP of the match here. This is great. Just work by Barrios, just bodying up. Needs to change. Ryuzi can change everything, though, all by himself. Not this time, though. Credit Acosta, that was great work by the Honduran. And not a bad pass either. It has Barrios on the move. Barrios against Ring. Goes around him easily. Barrios back to Cabral. And there's the equalizer. Well, you can't say it hasn't been coming. The two substitutes combining to deadly effects. And Kevin Cabral, welcome to Colorado. We look at this goal. This effort here starts it all off because Austin has committed numbers forward and then this pass. Look at the mistake here from Austin going 2v2 in the back off of two fresh players from Colorado that have just come on the park. They tear the defense apart. You see, it's just a poor effort by Ring. And then on the other side, Lima can't get to it. So the two center backs from Austin get pulled apart. And then it's just this one play, just a. And now it's a very different looking Austin team out there is suddenly trying to win it. It's Jafal on the turn. Rodney Redes, the sub has arrived. Redes is through. Oh, Rodney Redes who's been here two and a half years and is still looking for his first Austin goal. One of the most dangerous times, and you, you see this ball gets played through, it splits the defense as red as times that run perfect. Up goes Driussi, not going to win that header. And that is indeed it. Well, in the end, a point 